Hi everyone, I'm live at Mobile World Congress 2017. My name is Mimi Spear and I'm here with Rob Tiffany, who's the CTO of Lumada from Hitachi. Rob, thanks for joining. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. I'm glad to have you. So tell me, or tell everyone, what is Lumada and why is it so special and what does it have to do with Internet of Things? It probably has everything to do with the Internet of Things. Uh, you know, Itachi is a big industrial conglomerate, and so we make a lot of things, a lot of big things like bullet trains and reactors and stuff. And all those things are already instrumented, mm -hmm. most of them, and they send telemetry, so you can already get that health data. Uh, Lumata is about the combination of all of that, all of that Hitachi equipment sending its telemetry. It's about our IoT platform for industrial IoT, capturing that data. Um, and then it goes on to bigger things that are like around the analytics and machine learning and AI. So are you using Lumata internally at Hitachi to kind of have a competitive advantage? Is this your way of making the most out of the data that's coming from your machinery and devices? That's, Is that That's, that's absolutely okay. right. Lumata's okay. been around internally for a while. Okay. It's only kind of coming out to the public, you know, you know, recently. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's stuff... You know, there's been really deep R&D back in Japan at Hitachi around a lot of the technology. So, you know, the forerunner to IoT is machine to machine. Right. Hitachi's been doing that for decades. Uh, so lots of different AI technology, machine learning technology, but it's been used, you know, kind of in your typical M to M way. Lots of different packages, different a factory robot may come with its own system. So what Lamada is really doing is building a, a single system for every Hitachi machine, and then ultimately machines from other companies as well. Okay, that's great. And ultimately then, Lumata will be used to help your customers to kind of make IoT real in their organizations. Is that the ultimate goal? Or Absolutely. Or is it more for internal? Uh, absolutely. I think it's both. You know, it's baby steps. Internally, Lumata makes our own hardware and machines that we sell more valuable. Because you can, you know, a lot of the things you think of around AI and IoT, like getting uh, remaining useful life to you can extend a maintenance cycle on something or predictive failure analytics, fix something before it fails, uh, all the usual suspects, right? Right. Um, and so making our own mach machines more valuable, but we know that's not enough to just do our own machines. We have to do it for other competitors, mm -hmm. things like that. And then ultimately, yeah, it's you've got to be super focused on the customer. Uh, and so they need to save money and they're not just using Hitachi gear. And that's so right. we absolutely have to be super focused on their needs. That's, that's great. And, and just generally speaking, what do you think of the IOT business today, internet of things? Where is it taking off? What industries do you see it the most? Um, where do you see it a little slower? Sure. Um, there's no shortage of IOT platforms out there. I think Twitter told me there was 400 or maybe 700. I don't know. Lots of choices. Uh, yes, there's no shortage of choices. I think the, what I think of a difference from Hitachi, you know, because lots of smart software people building platforms. From our perspective, we make the things and we're coming from that direction. And we already have, you know, people often talk about operational technology experience and blending that with IT. So we already have over 100 years of OT, deep OT experience and then about 50 years of IT experience to bring all those together. And so moving forward, taking those combined assets and know-how, it's hard to come by. And then really combining it with, you know, as we move forward, it's really AI for us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, level one AI is what most people think of as just machine learning. Right. You know, picking an algorithm, training a model, your data scientists doing R and Python right. to predict all these things. And so we'll absolutely be able to bring, not only do we have deep data science expertise, but we have deep expertise on our own machines, as right. you can imagine. So we're actually, and we don't like customers get frustrated when they, when they show up with a new software platform. You say, well, here you go, figure it out. Right. I, I hope there's a bunch of data scientists laying around to help you. <laughs> And we know there's not a lot of those folks on the planet. So one of the things we do is build these higher level constructs called okay. a solution core for a particular asset, a piece of machinery, where we do all the work. Okay. We figure out all the hard stuff. And so we can just hand it to a customer so they get value really fast. That's great. Um, and then this level two AI is something that I think is a big differentiator for us that a lot of folks don't have, or you might see it in universities, right. is this kind of AI where you don't have to have a domain expert you don't have to be doing all this human intervention. 
the like algorithm just you. starts figuring stuff out based on an outcome you're looking for. And I think that's going to be a huge game changer because it can be word. It can work across industries and across technology. Right. That's when things you really start to see almost that industrial revolution totally. all over again. Totally. Well, I see with you being the OT experts of the world <laughs> and us being, you know, a very sophisticated IT organization, I see a future together. So Absolutely. we're excited to be working with you guys. Absolutely. And I really appreciate the time. This was really interesting. Definitely. Thanks for having me. Thank you. It's good stuff.